Listen up, all you Wowsy Raider fans out there. This is the Wowsy Raider Recap with me, Robbie. Hey there, Raider fans. Welcome to this week's edition of the Wowsy Raider Recap. As always, I'm Robbie, and this week I got two weeks' worth of Raider Recaps for you as I missed last week. This week's recap being for the weeks of... May the 30th and June 6th, 2022, a.k.a. Spring Sports Tournament Central, uh, postseason central really, as a bunch of Raider teams in postseason action over the last couple weeks, so why don't we get right into it? We start out with the recap for the week of May the 30th, and actually all the games ended up being in the month of June as the first game was on June the 1st. Girls Golf finished first at their sectional match. Big uh, achievement by them. On the 2nd, June 2nd, Boys Volleyball opened up postseason play with a sweep over Springfield Central in the D1 preliminary round, three games to none. They would then move on to face Needham in the round of 32. And Sailing finished first at the state championship. Big congratulations to the Sailing team. On, uh, let's see here, let's see. On Saturday, the 4th, Saturday, June 4th, uh, boys volleyball, as I said, facing Needham in the D1 round of 32. Unfortunately, the boys were... Uh, no match for the defending state champion Rockets getting swept three games to none to uh, see their season come to a close. As we now turn the page to this past week, the week of the 6th, uh, and on Monday, uh, this past Monday, boys tennis with a 5-0 sweep over Marlboro in the D1 round of 32. That would send them on to face St. John's in the round of 16. And girls tennis also picking up a victory in the D1 round of 32, defeating Wachusett 4-1, which would send them on to face Winchester in the round of 16. Uh, On Tuesday the 7th, girls golf finished third at the state championship. Again, big congratulations to them on a successful season and that achievement. Wednesday the 8th, boys tennis another sweep, this time 5-0 over St. John's in the D1 round of 16. That would send them on to face Bay State Conference foe Newton North in the round of 8, while girls tennis saw their season come to an end, 4-1 falling to Winchester in the round of 16. Congratulations to them. And also, boys lacrosse unfortunately saw their season come to an end in their tournament opener, 8-6, 8-6, they fell to Catholic Memorial in the round of 32. Again, congratulations to the team on a successful season. On Thursday, yep, Thursday, girls lacrosse opening up tournament play with a 16-2 win over Marshfield in the round of 32, and they would advance to face Chelmsford in the round of 16. And speaking of that, on Saturday, yesterday, the girls lacrosse team, 14-1 to winners over Chelmsford in a rematch of the 2018 Division I state semifinals, uh, this time coming in the D1 round of 16, and the girls move on to face Central Catholic this coming week in the round of 8, and boys tennis fell in a tough one, 3-2, to Newton North, seeing their season come to an end in the round of eight, but a big congratulations on a great season, great run for the boys' tennis team. So that wraps up the week that was in Raider sports, and uh, next week we will recap girls' lacrosse's round of eight contest and maybe more, depending on those results. It remains to be seen, but until then, please check out the blog, WellesleySportsBlitz.com for all the latest up to date in Wellesley Sports. And until next time, folks, I'm Robbie, and that is your recap.